This is a quick tour of my back garden from Gardening Hacks. This is my Sweet 100's tomato plant. And I've just got this in about a 2 foot by 16 foot raised bed. We filled the bottom up with a piece of cardboard, then limbs, and then we added our soil on top of that. Got some tiny baby ones coming on in there. And some blooms. Should be loaded down in a few weeks. That is a zucchini hanging back there. Look how big those vines are. It's a vining zucchini plant. Here's some more. The Sweet 100's tomato plant. Walk a little farther down. That's the type of the zucchini I have growing on that vine. It is beautiful all by itself. when the females start growing they look like that so they're really pretty come on down got some dill growing some peppers this is Malabar spinach it just grows up the fence it's supposed to have really pretty flowers you can eat the leaves I ate I chewed a little one, it was kind of bitter. The medium sized ones taste better to me. They're slimy like okra, just so you know. But you can eat them raw, so it's something that'll grow in the Louisiana heat that you can throw in a salad. Some more peppers. Cucumber vine. Got some bees out pollinating stuff. These pipes in my deep watering system, they're half out of the ground, half in the ground, about a foot each with holes drilled all around the bottom of it that's in the ground and the bottom is open. It's to get water down farther so that the plant's roots will go down farther. That's another Malabar spinach. Something was eaten on the bottom of it, but the rest of it seems to be fine. And supposedly the Malabar spinach in our area becomes a perennial because it self seeds. So once you plant it, it's there come over to this let me show you the other end of this big bed how we did that so i mean that's a two foot by 16 foot about space that you can have a whole salad garden in and grow you some good food be a great garden for kids to get started with or somebody just wanting to get started in gardening this is my circle bed made out of a culvert cut off a banana plant in the middle of it, a banana tree. I got it as an ornamental, so I don't know if it's going to fruit or not, but either way, it'll be beautiful. Got two more cucumber plants in here. You can see they need some space and kind of grow to their space. But it's beautiful. And there's a little another Malabar spinach tucked in there that's hard to see. this one cucumber flowers are very pretty i think anyway there's some tiny baby cucumbers and then by it i just have a pot self-watering pot i picked up at a local hardware store and that has moringa growing in it those leaves when you eat them small they're kind of gross let them get bigger about medium size to large size was about that size or they are they're bitter too but they're good something to throw in salads that you have in the summer it's another pot we have we have two of them and they have banana trees in them and zinnias and some lavender growing in the front so, lavender's finally starting to bloom supposedly it's supposed to be able to grow here so I grew those from seeds. It took a long time, but they're finally doing something. Thank you for watching Gardening Hacks, and y'all have an awesome day. And this is my back kitchen garden.